Hello everyone, my name is Andrew Harrison, and I will be giving my oral presentation on Merlin Mann. Merlin Mann is a productivity wizard, and by that I mean he speaks about finding the time and attention to do your best creative work. He was born in Cincinnati in 1966 and currently resides in San Francisco, California. Merlin's first official public presentation was at Google in July of 2007, giving his now relatively famous Inbox Zero talk. In fact, this talk launched him into writing a book also entitled Inbox Zero. I'm going to have you listen to a quick clip of him giving this talk at Google so you can just get a sense of how he speaks. 1993, I got my first email account. It's a Pine account on the Tallahassee Freenet. This is a wonderful thing. You get a free internet account. You get a shell account. Anybody in town could get it. Look up the Simpsons on Gopher Holes till 2 in the morning. It was amazing. And it blew my mind. I mean, I'd used Microsoft Mail before. I had never had internet email, and it was astonishing. I knew probably uh, maybe a dozen people that had email addresses, mostly people who were like in grad school. I had a friend that was going to Oxford. I could email this guy. I could write him a letter. It would get there immediately, and then he'd write me back. I mean, I know a lot of you are younger than me, but this was astonishing. This was mind-blowing. I mean, the, the sense of like connecting with people People you hadn't seen in forever. You find out they got an email address, and all of a sudden you're emailing. It's email. You got to have the email. It was fantastic. It was unbelievable. And like every little email I wrote was like a, a special little letter. It was like I was getting a little hug from somebody, and I was returning it with a little hug. A dozen people in a little network, international network of hugs, and it felt so awesome. And it really, it kind of stayed that way for like probably almost two years. It like remained astonishing to me that I had email. It still kind of freaks me out a little. Now, as you can see, Merlin speaks very conversationally, which is something that I tend to do in a lot of my presentations. It's something that isn't easy to do well, but if you can do it well, it's a very effective speaking style. Merlin has a way of drawing you in as if you and he are just having a conversation, just between the two of you. And even though it feels like you're just hearing stories that he's telling you, he's teaching you a lot at the same time. This next clip is from a more recent talk called Scared Shitless, and if you're going to listen to any of Merlin's talks, I urge you to listen to this one. It's amazing. Now, here's the uh, typically Merlin-like um, mixed ending for you. I love my ex-wife. She was great. But if she hadn't divorced me, I would have met my wife. If my boss hadn't fired me for using the internet, I wouldn't have started making web page pages. If I hadn't started making web pages, I wouldn't have made shitty web pages for 10 years before I got to move to California. There's all kinds of stuff that just starts in total shit that can turn into pretty good stuff. And just because you're scared of it doesn't mean it's not going to happen. Stuff's going to happen. The universe doesn't care whether you're scared. You're kind of screwed on that point. But it's my belief that if you keep running, I was like to say, if you run through the shit storm, let yourself get covered with shit, but keep running, you'd be amazed how scared you can be and still do it. Because nobody eats you. Yet. I don't see any forks or anything. You might eat me, I'm not sure. But it's true. It's absolutely true. And everybody you admire, everybody you respect, everybody you like, they all sit around and wonder if it's, they're going to be able to repeat it again from day to day. They wonder if they're just going to start to suck, or if they already suck. Everybody worries about that. Everybody. Everybody's scared. I know this is not news, but you need to hear this. I'm scared. You're scared. And we're all scared. The difference is whether you're going to keep moving. And I really hope you will. This talk has to be one of the most motivational and inspirational talks that I've ever had the pleasure of hearing. Like Merlin said, it's not news, but it's something you need to hear. I know that I have put so many things off because I was scared. I imagine that everyone has a list 10 miles long of things they were too scared to do. No one before Merlin has ever put this to me in such a succinct, meaningful way before. You could put presidential speeches or inaugurational addresses up against Merlin Mann, and I would choose Merlin every time. And now I would like to end with a clip from Merlin speaking about agency. I hate to say this, but the only thing you really have control over is yourself. I know you know that, but I'm going to remind you of that. At best, in the entire universe, you maybe have as much control over any other person as you maybe had over your college roommate. And that's it. You could ask them not to steal your Diet Coke, but you will never make them stop stealing your Diet Coke. I don't care how hard 
butted of a boss you are, you will never make somebody want to do a great job for you unless you can inspire them on a basis that they understand. You can't make anybody do anything. <laughs>